Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen. Um, today is Monday, and on Mondays we do little mini Monday paintings. Sometimes, sometimes we don't. Um, but today I thought we'd do fun, you know, beach theme paintings. You know, flip flops and a beach bag. Super simple. I teach you how to draw it and paint it. Um, but if you're a Patreon member, you get the traceable. This is just some fun, cute little ideas to get you out of your, you know, if you haven't been painting for a while and you've been vacationing and you don't know what to paint until it'll be kind of fun to paint something like this. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'd love to hear what you're working on in the summertime, if you're not doing anything or if you're having fun. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear about it. I'd love to hear how your summer is going, if you're enjoying it, having a good time, de-stressing, all the good stuff. Also, um, check out my Patreon. I have ad-free videos. Uh, traceables like this one this, this tutorial and uh, exclusive tutorials on Thursdays and a live stream on the top tier it's just a place people go and support my channel which I appreciate so much you can check it out right here boop in the corner um, that the little icon that pops up so without further ado let's get painting some beach icons okay so let's start by um, drawing out the icons um, like I said if you're a patreon member you can just download the traceable um, it's pretty simple for the flip-flop so it's kind of like a peanut shape that, that I've done. You can do it like more realistic, but I like a simple kind of fun. You're just kind of curving, going back in here and curving like this. If you want to get really realistic, you kind of curve here, come down, get a little skinnier and like this, right? And then you start right here, circle, make the little flower, attach the little straps like that. Right, and then you do the opposite on this side, right here. Well, that's a little different shape, but you get what I'm saying. Just do the opposite of what you did there, and then you have the straps. You can add dash lines or stripes or flowers, whatever you want. And then, of course, the um, beach bag. It's just you can curve a line that's going diagonal and curved on the bottom, going across, curved, going back up along the line. See, like a bucket. Like this and then you have the handles here kind of come in a little bit and the handles can be start from here or they can start from here go like that and then the bottom had like a band here and then I put sunglasses in here so you would turn your basket I say or your bag and you just put a line like this I mean, this is the easier sunglasses you know then you just go in here so the little little curve so it's just basically for the eyeglasses depending on how, it, how you want the eyeglasses to be. It can be more serious where they kind of go in like this and out and then go up. And then you have your handles and your little, just a simple basic way to do it. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. So I have my flip flops and my uh, beach bag with my sunglasses here. I'd like to erase the pencil lines that I have so I don't see them as much. Now you could do this with um, pen and ink. You could take like a Sharpie pen and just outline the whole entire drawing and just fill it in with watercolor from there. Um, it depends on how you want to do it. I just want to fix my indentation of my eyeglasses. And um, keep colors like you can go whatever color you want. And then I left this blank for my patrons and anybody else. You can do a basket weave here or you could just do stripes like it's a canvas bag. Um, there's many variables you can do with the, with the beach bag. And then with the same thing with the flip flops, like, you know, the, this is kind of left. I did little dash lines for like stitches, but that ne that's not necessary. You don't have to have that either. You can just do stripes and whatnot. And I'm going to start off using my Princeton eight long round. I mean, excuse me, my Princeton eight round. And I'll probably use my Princeton six long round. These are both um, three by three inch squares, are 100% cotton cold pressed paper. Um, my paints, I go over them as I use them, my paper towels, and I have a water jar up here. Pretty simple. So I'm going to grab some water on my paintbrush, my number eight, and I'm going to use ultramarine blue, ultramarine deep blue. It's the perfect summer blue color, isn't it? So I'm going to make my band more in the blues, you know, and then I'll have like the basket here, and then I'll play around with the flip-flop. So I will zoom in a little bit. And see how it's very watery, like um, like a tea consistency. I can go back in and add more blue. But I always kind of tap on my paper towel to get off the excess water. People say, oh, I have too much water. Well, that's how you do it. You just tap it off. 
and just really simply just stick in the paint in the band, right? Now this is just a flat wash color, one note. If you want to get more sophisticated, while it's still damp, you grab some of your darker or more concentrated ultramarine blue, a little bit of water. See, going here and grabbing that. And you just kind of tip tap on the edges and it will bleed on the bottom. And give it a more sophisticated, realistic kind of look. Not necessary, but if you want a little bit of that. Now I'm going to clean up my brush. For this part, I am going to do like a basket color. So I'll just take my burnt umber, I'll get it loose, water it down. I can add a little bit of cabin yellow deep to that. If I want more yellow. If it's too yellowy, you know, I might grab some, like this color called neutral tint. So you just touch a little bit, just tap a little bit of that color in there. It just changes it again. And a good thing is that you can kind of put your color on a paper towel and you can see if the color is too yellow or too brown, too red. Play around with that. I'll add more burnt umber. I'll keep playing around with it until I get the color I like. Put some water here. So I have this color. I'm going to water it down to get it lighter. See? Tap on the paper towel. Works every time. And just put this nice light wash of the basket color, which is the bag color. So it's half like fabric and half basket kind of tones. And you just kind of put that color right in here. Just fill it all in. And you can do the same technique that you did with the um, blue band with this color. The edges can be a little bit darker. By the way, you want to wait till the blue kind of dries before you stick this color in, because right next to it. Then I have a, the background of the basket here. So I'll grab the darker brown, maybe a little bit behind this handle. See that? and on an edge and behind the eyeglasses. Just taking the tip of my brush just gives it more interest. Boom. Now I had this band back here. It's like the darker part of the bag, the inside. So you just grab a little of that brown, maybe a little uh, neutral tint and you put that color in the back once this part's dry. That'll be the inside of the bag. It would be much darker than the outside. The handle can also be the same color or darker brown, whatever you choose, or you can make it blue, it would be interesting. So I'm gonna keep it kind of in the brown so I'm gonna make it a little bit darker. And you just play around with that. I want everybody to figure out what they would like to do. Just simple. And of course the eyeglasses, you can make them a color, you can make them black, make them whatever you want. I mean, color's kind of fun too. It doesn't have to be black eyeglasses. It could be blue with black inside, right? Maybe we'll play around with the blue, I don't know. I might do black on mine. So I'm gonna use this color called Neutral Tint. It's kind of a bluish gray black color. I'll add a little brown to it so it becomes more of a real deep black gray. Just like you would see eyeglasses. Now, because it's black already, the inside part can be lighter and the outside part can be darker. That makes sense, right? So we can go in and add the whole gray in here, bleed it and go back in and add the, the black outside rim as real black black. So it, I probably should do this in the first place. So you put the whole gray color in, wait till it dries, and then we can add a real deep black color. And what we grid for that, which I don't mention often, is to use some black wash. It's perfect for that. So I'm gonna wait till all this dries. Meanwhile, back at the farm, we're gonna switch over to the flip-flop. 
I had in mind to do kind of like a stripe. I didn't draw it, but um, you could do a solid one. So let's play around with the little stripe, even though we have the flower uh, straps. You can still do, that. still do that with the blue. I want to coordinate the two paintings. And then kind of curve it with the flip flop. So I'm just doing a light wash of the ultramarine blue. Going down. I didn't draw this in for the traceable because I want people to use what they think would be good. Maybe they wanted to do florals. You see how I'm making my stripe? I bend it a little bit, curve it. Now we can do the same thing that we did on the beach bag with the blue. Add a little bit of the dark color on the edge. Gives it a more three-dimensional look. This one I'll start up here. I don't know, I just felt like doing stripes. I like you guys to, you know, figure out what you want to do. This is just giving you ideas. It doesn't have to be blue. It could be gold, like a gold metallic flip-flop. could be kind of cute. Still using this number eight round. I think it's big enough and small enough at the same time to handle both details and non-details. So I'm going to go tap in on the edge of each little stripe, the darker color, and have it bleed in. And I like this kind of washed out ultramarine kind of look. Very summery. Okay, let's dry. You have to figure out what you're going to do for the floral strap. It could be the same color or it could be a different color. Um, you know, doesn't really matter. I'd have to figure out maybe I would make it orange or, you know, an opposite color can be kind of fun. So we'll play around with that because the beachy colors. I have this color, brilliant orange. And how you figure out what colors you want to do for that, I'm going to just activate this color. It's a little too bright, so I might tone it down with some yellow. And then it comes a yellow orange. And then let me do a little bit of brown in there. Or neutral tint, just a yeah, see we, you gotta keep playing with the color. You want orange, but not super orange. So this is a little trick that I talk about. Take a scrap piece of paper and you see, do I like the orange? Mm, maybe not. Maybe you wanna do yellow gold. So we don't have we can do metallic gold, but I think I'm gonna do yellow gold. So I'll take cadmium yellow deep. That's a little bit of this front number. See yellowish gold color. And I'll do that on my paper. Mm, looks a little better. Or I can just keep it blue. Right? So you can kind of play around with going like this. Do we want the gold, the blue? Or do we want just blue? We might want just blue. I think I'll keep it blue. <laughs> this is the things you do to figure out how to make it different, unique, and have something you like. You don't have to follow what I do. It's just giving you ideas. So I'm going to go back in. Actually, this time I'll use my number six because it's small little details here. And then I'll put in... a deeper tone of the ultramarine blue. See that? It's much darker. This one was washed out more. And then I do the little flower. Maybe I'll leave the center white. You don't even need to do the flower. You can just do like a big button. That looks kind of cute. But those are the ways. See how I showed you how to I figure out what colors I like to do? That's my little trick. I give you a little trick. Technique on, you know, you're like, oh no, and I painted and I hate it. This is how you do it before you hate it. You put a little piece of scrap with the color you want next to it, and then you can see. So now I'm going to add a deeper 
ultramarine blue, which is basically less water again. Minimal tiny bit of water to get that deeper blue flippy flop. Now, the rest of it's all white, and you know you can't see the top half here. So now we're gonna water down some of this blue, maybe a little bit of a neutral tint with it. Ultimate blue, neutral tint, water it down, maybe a little more neutral. We want a little more blue-gray, very watered down, very light. And we're going to do a little edge painting here. So I'm just going to paint a little bit on the edge, very watered down. See, I'm tapping it on my paper towel. Just, I can do it on one side, I can do it on both sides. But see how I'm just going to touch it on the edge and the bottom. Now you can go outline all of it. You can see it's just a line right now, but you can take your brush, put a little more water in it, and kind of push the color in. And that will just give it a nice little indication of the actual flip flop. Just a little outline, kind of wash down. Super simple. All right, and when that actual dries, you want to have maybe you want a little shadow of the um, strap. So I'll take that same color and I'll put a little shadow here going over. See that where this where the strap is? The strap created a shadow. It's super simple. We're not going we're not we, you know doing anything super fancy today. And I'm getting a little bit darker on my edge over here. This is a simple flip flop. So we're going to flip flop the flip flop <laughs> to the um, beach bag. And now I'm going to zoom in a little bit more here. So now we have the basket part. I'm going to grab the, the brown that we had, tan color, a little less water. And you can do some simple stuff. You can just do some lines going across. Wouldn't make them super straight. You can kind of wiggle them a little bit. You can kind of break them too. But it's a little bit darker than the color we have down first. Right? See how there's little stripes in there? And you can take it and you can just make like this little dashes going on the side like this. Right? Kind of like a sweater, you can dash it like this, both sides. Dish, dash on its side like this, and then like this. See? Little V's going up the basket. If it's better for you to go like this on its side and make like little V's that hug that line, do that. Now, you can make the little V's vary in tone to give it more interest, like a basket weave kind of look. What do I mean by that? I will show you in a second. I'm gonna grab a little of this neutral tint and some burnt umber, a little bit darker, less water. And you'll see, I'll, I'll place it in some areas, not everywhere, just around. So it has this variety that makes it look, look more like a basket. And you go back in and add your other one. Otherwise, it just kind of look one note. And we don't want it to look like one note. So these little bees that hug the line, just super simple to do to make it look like a basket. See? That looks like a basket. And then here on the side, you can add just, see I'm just kind of going like this slightly, adding a little darker tone. Just tapping it, and then on the handle, right next to the handle, a little darker, the shadow. Right here, a little darker. And then that back part, really get dark with a little brown and a little black kind of tones. Just kind of fill it in. That's the inside part. Maybe mine would be less black, more brown. Made this a little too black. 
just looked up to some of the color. But you get what I'm saying. And you can go back in here and put some shading with the darker brown around the eyeglasses because they're putting a shadow to this part of the bag. Little details. And then so the handle, you can do this simply kind of wrap a little line like this. Wrap. Kind of curving the line. Or you don't have to do anything at all. Right? And add a little darker brown to the edges of each handle. Outer edge here. See, just a little bit in each section. Just kind of wiggling the paint around. So it looks a little more natural, not fake. And then again, around here, I'm going to get this a little bit darker around the handle so you can see it better. Okay, and then I have this black wash, which I love. I'll actually do some right here, my little palette. I'll just activate it. And like I told you, a real deep gouache would be perfect for the outline of the glasses. You want a little bit darker than the inside. And you can do some, you know, add a little bit deeper color in here too. Just a little bit, not too much. Oops. To make it look like you know, well, a little more, a little more realistic. You could do patterns too. You don't have to make it black, by the way. And I'll just do like a dark, blackish brown dot where it would connect the basket. And that's pretty much it. Like you can add a little more variety of the browns. Again, on the edge, just to get it and under here. All right, and the blue, I'm going to go and add some blue. I can just add some tones again in here, just a little bit deeper, make it more interesting. So there we have <laughs> our super little basket. Now, you could have made this blue. You can add a, like a bow up here. Uh, I just want to do something simple. And then sometimes I might want to add, I'm going to take this neutral tint color, I'm going to water it down. So you just have like this nice pretty gray. And I can just add a nice wash. So I would just take a little bit of this gray. I'm going to tap, see I'm tapping on paper towel to get all the excess water off. And I put like a little gray shadow or flip-flop. You don't have to do this. Just kind of adds a little something. So you just start it from here and end here. Just, I don't know, it gives it more, like, the picture gives it a little more variety. Something to be more interesting to look at. And it's just typical. And for the bath, for the bag. I keep saying basket. Beach bag. You can add a little gray. So it's not, it's not floating. It could be floating. But I mean, we didn't put it on the beach, but you know what I'm saying. And that's that. I mean, if you want to take a little bit of white gouache, I'm going to activate some minor here. Add just a couple little dash here on the glasses to make it look like you know, the sun's shining on them a little bit. My white gouache has kind of got many colors in it right now. Just a teeny little line in here. Goes a long way. And my, uh, seems like my gouache is faded, my black. I'll get a little more intense here. But you can make it blue. I'm, I'm thinking back now, I maybe should have made it blue. But that's okay. Just simple you know, designs, and you guys should interpret it how you'd like to do it. Different colors, it doesn't have to be stripes, could be flowers, 
could be all kinds of things in here. Same thing with this. The beach bag doesn't have to have the basket weave. It could have stripes like this going across. It would be kind of interesting in a blue handle. The glasses could be blue. It could be stripes inside the, the basket. You know, put things sticking out of the basket. Just give you ideas to play with for Mini Monday. And hopefully you enjoy it and you come up with some of your own that you're really excited about. So thank you so much for coming to my channel. I appreciate it. I hope you're having a great summer. I hope you're having some fun de-stressing and enjoying time with family and friends. And that's what it's all about, right? You know, just take, take a break from the stress that we normally have. <laughs> um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you haven't hit the bell notification button, please do so. Uh, thank you guys. Take care. Have a great day.